Hey guys and welcome to another let's play of uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake. Uh, in this this one, because I've already done uh, Leon A, Leon B, Claire A and Claire B, I'm going to be uh, going for a hardcore S plus rank for, for the end game. Uh, I've done this once on a, another account, obviously practiced quite quite a bit to get get the routine down and uh, what I can pick up and what I can't. Now, unlike a speed run, I will be just going through as a normal playthrough, but just quickly. <laughs> uh, the 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 requirements for getting an S plus on hardcore are you can't have more than three saves and you have to complete it. I'll just show you in the results screen in under two hours and 30 minutes, which obviously I haven't done because I haven't played it on hardcore yet. What I would also say is a requirement, although it's technically not, is you can't die. If you die, you can choose to retry, but in hardcore, it doesn't have an auto save feature, so you have to retry from your last save point. So if you've played 30 minutes from your last save or into the game, and then you die, you go back to 30 minutes ago with that 30 minutes still on the clock. So it makes it very hard for you to, to retry and still come out with an S plus. But without further ado, why don't I just get into it? I'm gonna be playing as Leon, A, hardcore. Because that's the one I've been practicing on. <laughs> and uh assuming you've seen videos or or watched my videos even, I'm gonna be skipping the cutscenes. <laughs> I've watched them four times now. So first things first, we walk into the the gas station. I must call it a diner then. And uh, obviously, I've, like I said, I've made notes as well for this. Um, but I've also watched videos because I didn't want to miss anything. I didn't want to. I'm going to make mistakes. That's, that's a given. I will make mistakes. <laughs> I'm not perfect at this by a long shot, but I I hope to know what I'm doing enough. So yeah, you're going to be moving. You're going to be seeing me move a lot quicker than I have been. I've got notes for everything. That's safe what to pick up, what loadouts, okay maybe not the loadouts as detailed as I'd like but they're there and if you want to follow this, this go, go for it like I said it's not going to be a perfect run but if you can improve on it if, if it's, if it's, say it's a guide to get you on the right path it, it works for me, it might not work for everyone There's a lot of things I will do differently to cover my own arse more than anything than what, let's say, a speedrunner would do. Like I say a speedrunner run will run past a couple of zombies to save a few seconds. I'm going to kill those zombies to save a big chunk if I have to pass through there more than once. Or I'm definitely going to get tagged by one. No one wants to get tagged on hardcore. And that is how I do that. So that's getting to the RPD. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bank right straight away. And just start running down. Now I'm going to want to go in here. Get the handgun ammo.
That's uh, my OCD. <laughs> See, I'm not, I'm not speed running. I just took time to to rearrange my uh, my inventory. So it, it it gives you plenty of time. It it makes you think you don't have plenty of time, but it it gives you plenty of time. So now we're gonna want to go and rescue Ish. Kind of, I guess, Elliot. Open up! Open this goddamn door! And that's Elliot's notebook, which we don't need. And a trick I learned is just stand here. And you can run past him. Now that didn't go as planned. He is going to be in my way now. Jesus Christ, I wasted a lot more ammo than I should have left. Already not a not a perfect run. I usually take those zombies' legs out, but that's that. Uh, so Martin gives us a knife and I'm immediately going to say I don't want that knife. <laughs> so we're going to use it here. And while this door's opening, I'm going to go grab that. First aid spray over there. This is and bank everything but game. my handgun. That's the top right. Deluxe weapons added. I don't need them. Uh, I'm going to grab these as well. Just, just in case I forget to grab some. I think there's some at every save point. But I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm going to want this ammo. I'm also going to want to reload the gun. And I'm going to through here. I'm going to knock this guy off as well so he doesn't inconvenience me later. Because no doubt he will. So we're going to have to pass through here a couple more times in the, in the game. And there's some ammo there. I mean, you can get the map if you want, but uh, there's really no need. So, come and grab this ammo. And I will, I'm probably struggling on ammo, especially if this doesn't go well. Wow! <laughs> you know what? Really quick, I am just going to go to options. And tutorials off. Reticle colour. I want green because it's bright. So yeah, just like I do in in most of my playthroughs, I'm gonna kill these two zombies. That was probably lucky actually. That was very lucky. Whoa! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna also grab this gunpowder, this ammo, and here is where my first major note comes in. The code for this is 9157, so 9 to the left, 15 to the right, and then 7 to the left. And if you don't get this, you are, are not making, if you have to go search for this code, you are not making the S plus rank. And this is Ned. And the other one is MRG. For Marvin, I forget what her name is, and George. <laughs> and that gives us the upgrade for the handgun. Obviously, this is going to be our default weapon throughout this playthrough. So we want it fully upgraded, or I want it fully upgraded. Now what I'm going to want to do is mesh the right into the save room, grab this gunpowder, turn on this light for that sweet sweet music, mix this red with the green, 
and guess what? No, I've done that wrong. Put everything up except from the board because we're going to be using it. Just here. And we're going to want to grab these this ammo. I've been tucked. I'm not worried. I'm just going to go use one of the first aid sprays that I've got. It means making an extra trip down back to the item box. But it speeds me up. I'm just gonna take care of her first. What the? See, th this is ble this game is blessing me right now with with the headshots. So <laughs> I don't want to stop my recording and, and re-record. So what I'm gonna do is. I'm going to bank that because it gives me an extra slot as well then. I'm going to use this, this first aid spray. Do I seem worried? No. It's very early on in the game and I've already used the first aid spray. It's not the end of the world. But the way I'm going to do this is uh, there is going to be plenty of herbs. It's, it's always going to feel like we're running low because I'll never have one on me. But honestly, there will be plenty. Now here's the, the first thing. I am going for the Magnum. There's a lot of speed runs, pretty much all of them. They don't get the magnum, they skip that and they just go through the game with a shotgun. I'm getting the magnum because it is like a comfort blanket to me. <laughs> so I get, I've, I've got the magnum in every run I've played. I won't be upgrading the magnum because that takes a lot of time, but I will be getting it initially. So I'm going to be skipping a lot of things that other people don't. But. I will be getting this ammo. Obviously I'll be getting this key because it's a, a required key item. Quite literally a key item. Uh, Leon doesn't know what that is yet, but he'll find out soon enough. Now I'm gonna grab this gunpowder. Completely miss that board. Grab this ammo. Now I think it's eight shots to take him down. If you use zoomed headshots, it's only six, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I've just saved you two bullets. Leon, it's Marvin. I need you back here ASAP. Are you okay, Marvin? I've got something to show you. It's important. Copy that. I'll be right there. And now what I'm going to want to do is there is a, a woman zombie just hanging out by those ladders. I want to take her head off. I am being blessed. I'm also going to want to kill this one. He's dead. He's not. Okay, that's definitely killed him. Right, now. I've got a feeling I'm running low on ammo. So I'm just going to mix those gunpowders. Now the code for this is... Uh, the Pisces symbol. Uh, the scorpion. And the bars. I 
and I'm also going to move this over to the right once to get the handgun ammo and this one over to the left once this will just make it quicker when we uh, when we finally get the jack handle now I've got a lot of space because I've had because I've combined those so I'm gonna grab this now before I forget that knife is an integral part to this run oh and this book we want the uh, the, the magnum the way I run this this it, it'll give us enough time to get both the magnum and the final hit pouch which again is another comfort blanket for me or at least it did when I actually did it <laughs> I, I might be a little off a little slower I've, I've already made a few mistakes before I had to go back to the iron box once now the lion statue is a lion I've gone past the lion a herb and an eagle that eagle and there's two out of the three so now we're going to go want to go talk to Marvin but we're skipping that cutscene and we're going to want to put these two emblems in here why not we're already here makes more sense yeah but the passage isn't open yet use the spade key here as well and we can grab this herb Now this is where it gets a bit tricky because I'm getting the magnum. So I'm going to want to put everything away except from the book and the spade key. If you weren't collecting the magnum, you would only ha you wouldn't have the book here. You'd have an extra a free slot basically through this next section. I, however, am not. <laughs> I'm gonna we're gonna go into this office, grab this herb round to the safe and the safe combination for this is 6 to 11 so 6 to left 2 to the right and 11 to the left again and that gives us another uh, attachment for our gun so I'm just going to want to go ahead and equip that we use our key again might as well discard it while we're here. Come into here and grab the weapons locker key. We want that mag with that shotgun. But we also want the magnum. So we're going to grab this. And we're going to grab the ruby out of that staff. Being so I'm here, I may as well examine it. Right. Now there are a few things we want from downstairs. In a second. So we come down here, we see Claire, kitchen reunion. And then we don't see her again until the end of the game. Um, we want this board. I've got a situation here. We want this ammo. My and of course, we want the ball crop. Marvin, do you copy? Marvin! Damn it! So, what I'm gonna do is use them straight away. Now, this zombie come out and got me. Luckily for me, he's down the hall. That's perfect for me. I want this flash grenade. don't need to do that I want this valve now I'm gonna have to discard something here because I also want this powder now I could have just let that zombie get me but I didn't want to Oh, what have I done that for? I, 
think I'm done. I really wanted that. That was a force of habit. Luckily, I was quicker than that guy. Oh, why did I do that? Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, I don't know if I want that on me or not. For now, I'll keep it. No, I'm putting it up. I don't know what I'll be getting, but I know I'll be getting more than a couple of things. Now this part again is quite tough. Because we're going to want to wait for this guy to fall through. So we can board up this window for later. And then we want to kneecap this guy as quickly as possible. And it's got me. <sighs> that did not go to favour at all. Now there's going to be a guy around the corner as well. Who we need to get past now very quickly. Now I've, I've already been hit twice. I haven't used the herb but I've used the first aid spray. So this time... I'm going to use the herb. There's a herb. And there's also another flash grenade. Now I don't want them breaking through. We're going to use the code here, being as though we've come for the shotgun at anyway. To get this ammo. the ammo, grab the shotgun. Might as well reload that while I'm here. And we're going back to the item box. I need to have be fully healed. Now when I actually did this I didn't get hit once coming through here. But I know it's possible to to do the game. So now I want the valve handle. And, once again, I'm at full health. Like I said, there, there are plenty of herbs in this game. The game just... It, it wants you to think there isn't. And this is a cap. It was on that whiteboard in the room we got the herb from. And the detonator. And then I think, yeah, this one, shotgun shells. And there is a small gunpowder in this locker, which I am going to get, which I think I usually miss. Grab this shotgun shells and bolt it to the stars like this. That liquor will not catch up to you. Grab the battery. Combine them where they are. Now this is the important part, we want this flash grenade. I don't think there's anything else around here. There is a, a red herb. But there's also yellow gunpowder, a first aid spray, and the herb. Now we're going to want to walk out of this room. Obviously, you know I, I haven't killed a, a liquor in any of my playthroughs. Why start now? And you'll notice I didn't get the, the portable safe either. That's something I do skip out on. Right. Now my inventory is full again. And I don't know what I'm going to use. Still, uh, 
No, I picked that up. Right, so I picked everything up in this room, except from that board by the looks of it. Oh, I'm going to use the... Never mind. I'm, I'm about to use this. I don't have this anymore. <laughs> okay. And now we've annoyed a liquor. Right, the code for this one is Goddess Arrow Snake. I want the Goddess the Arrow or the Bow and Arrow and the Snake. And then we're going to want to equip this ready. And we're going to want to walk out. I don't know if I did that in my, my previous ones. I should have. Because it's so simple to do. <laughs> and now we have all three medallions. And that is the RPD technically finished. Now I haven't forgotten ever, anything. Which is good. Because once you go through the here you can't come back. As I learned out during my playthrough. But I'll, uh, I'll save that till to part two of this uh, this S plus run. So what I'm going to want to do now is grab this these shotgun shells, grab this ink ribbon, and put literally everything up. For my loadout in part two. Now, 23 minutes and 20 seconds, I've been hit twice. This is roughly where you want your game to be. If you can get it down to 20 minutes, brilliant. It's, it's very easy to, to get it at 20 minutes. I'd say 25 to 27 minutes, probably might want to consider starting again. 30 minutes, I would definitely consider starting again. But that's just my my opinion. Like I said, I'm go I'm going back through through the RPD to get the Magnum, which takes a bit more time than usual. And it's why a lot of speedrunners miss it. But like I said, it's it's a comfort blanket for me. But I am going to save the game here. This is my first out of three saves. So I will be seeing you in the next part. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya!